All right, helper functions. Whoa, 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 okay. Some of you guys might be looking at this code now and thinking helper functions, all of this and this and that. Okay, you might feel uh, in some imposter syndrome coming along. You might feel conflicted. You might feel um, overwhelmed. Um, maybe if I'm going too fast for you, or maybe I might be going too slow as well. Either way, um, all, I'm, all I want to tell you guys is please don't give up and please don't stop the video. If you don't get it the first time, try, try, and try again. You must never give up. Never give up. You can do it. Okay? You guys can do it. Okay, so let's move on. Helper functions. We can also use the return value of a function inside another function. These functions being called within another function are often referred to as a helper function, to as helper functions. Since each function is carried out a specific task, it makes our code easier to read and debug if necessary. If we wanted to define a function that converts the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we could write two functions like function multiplied by nine fifths, set the parameter to number, return number multiplied by nine divided by five, comma, just outside the body, function get Fahrenheit, parameter Celsius, return multiplied by nine fifths, Celsius plus 32, get Fahrenheit, the argument as 15, returns 59. So in the example above, get Fahrenheit is called and 15 is passed as an argument. The code block inside of get Fahrenheit calls multiple, multiplied by 9 fifths and passes 15 as an argument. Multiplied by 9 fifths takes the argument of 15 for the number parameter. The code block inside multiple by, multiplied by 9 fifths function multiplies 15 by 9 divided by 5, which evaluates to 27. 27 is returned back to the function call in the get Fahrenheit argument. Get Fahrenheit continues to execute. It adds 32 to 27, which evaluates to 59. Finally, 59 is returned back to the function call get Fahrenheit. We can use functions to section off small bits of logic or tasks, then use them when we need to. Write a helper functions. Writing helper functions can help take large and difficult tasks and break them into smaller and more manageable tasks. Instructions. Number one, in the previous exercise, we created a function to find the number of monitors to order for an office. Now let's write another function that uses the monitor count function to figure out the price. Below monitor count, create a function declaration named cost of monitors. So function declaration cost of monitors, remember camel casing between the different words. Okay. It has two parameters. The first parameter is rows and the second parameter is columns. Okay, so the first parameter is rows, the second parameter is columns. Uh, leave the function body empty for now. Okay, let's run this. Okay, let's move on. Time to add some code to the function body of cost of monitors to calculate the cost. Add a return statement that returns the value of calling monitor count. So first let's add the return statement that returns the value of calling monitors count, rows, columns multiplied by 200. So now turns monitor count. 
and then rows and columns. And then we take that and we multiply it by 200. Let's run that quickly. Okay, so that's correct. We should save the cost to a variable. Okay, so declare a variable named total cost using the const keyword assigned to total cost, the value of calling cost of monitors with the arguments five and four. We should save the cost to a variable. Declare a variable named total cost. So the variable, declare a variable called total cost. Uh, using the const and assign to total cost the value of calling and the of calling cost of mod monitors. So you have to be calling it already five, and then the second argument is four. Okay, so let's run that quickly. Okay, so now to check that the function worked properly, log total cost to the console. Okay, so right after this declared variable, uh, let's quickly console.log variable total cost. So when we run total cost, it shows 4,000. If we run it again, it still shows 4,000, okay. Okay, so let's move on. 